It's over. Concert. You looking for someone? My son. Kate's gonna make him remember? Kate! <laughs> I bumped into you coming out of the bathroom and I stole your pen. And that's how I know you. That's not how you know me. I missed you so much. Are you okay? What is happening to me? Kate's touch. It's over there. How are we getting down there? We're not. I'm going alone. Dude, you can't go down there alone. Ben's going. I'm not gonna let you die. I'm already dead. You said you'd protect the island. And that's what I'm doing. You're committing suicide. That's the way it has to happen. It needs to be you, Hugo. It's only supposed to be me so I could do this. But if someone has to take care of the island, then it should be you. I believe in you. Anything to drink out of? A, a cup, a canteen. I do. This is insane. Is that okay? It was Hurley. It's perfect. It was Hurley. Is that it? Now you're like me. Every time someone does this, they die. Easy. God. Wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. There's no way this ends good, no matter what. The light, I'll put it out. It didn't work. I got you. Come on. Come on. Oh, oh. You were right, Jack. The first time for everything. <laughs> what you, Jack? I'll see you in another life, brother. Everyone's getting their final moments with Jack. Shit. Oh, that ain't good. Out the door, you're gonna be my eyes while I back this out of here. Claire, Claire, come on, Claire, come on. We gotta go. I don't even know how to be a mother anymore. Let me help you. You're not alone. You're not alone. Just like from before. We're good to go. Go, Claire. Come on. Yeah. Yes. Oh, shit. <laughs> he did it, though. I guess that's what matters. Right? We're running out of time! Yeah, he has to. There's no way Hurley and Ben are dying. No. Let's get the f out of here. need to know what's happening back where the light is. Oh, it <laughs> worked. Hello, Benjamin. Hello, John. I don't remember if Ben remembers or not. Just storm. You were special, John. And I wasn't. I forgive you. Thank you, John. What are you gonna do now? I think I'll stay here a while. Where's here? That that you can stay. This feels so final. I hate it. He did his job, Hugo. It's my job now. I think you do what you do best. Take care of people. Can you help me? I'm sorry? I could really use someone with, like, experience for a little while. I'd be honored.
I don't think I'm coming in. You were a real good number two. Huh. And you were a great number one, Hugo. I don't, I don't know what we're doing. Where are you going? Inside. We're waiting for you there. Once you're ready. Ready for what? To leave. Just want to make sure. I knew they were going to cut away. I knew they were going to cut away. Let me just, I need this other part to play out. Before I just, I thought he was gone though. Whoo, shit. <laughs> He's been fighting it the whole time. That's right, Jack. Welcome back. Just the coffin brought him back. Hey, kiddo. How? How are you here right now? How are you here? I died too. Thought that's what it was. I didn't want to think that though. Are you real? I'm real. All those people in the church, and they're all dead. Everyone dies sometime, kiddo. Some of them before you, some long after you. Oh. This is the place that you all made together so that you could find one another. The most important part of your life was the time that you spent with these people. Hey, she said we were leaving. Not leaving. Moving on. Where are we going? We'll find out together. Let's go find out. I think Christian said they created this. He does. That's why. Well, Desmond got them all together. <laughs> <laughs> The whole show led up to the finale. I mean, pick a message that ca that came from the end of this. I could protect the island. I would do it. A lot of nasty things happened in this this show. Twisted things. Parentless children. Childless parents. Poor parenting. I feel whole watching this in terms of getting it. I know it's gonna take a few more re rewatches to catch this up believe me <laughs> okay i don't know what the consensus was with the critics or the public with how they ended at least this unrated cut but that's the only way you can end the show like this it's it's what's done is done as amazing as jack was as a character his dad told him last thing we heard in the series you were never as best as you were when you were around these other people wow so kate sawyer Kate, Sawyer, Lupitas, Miles are the only ones that made it off. And Hurley's gonna try to get Desmond home and Ben when he's ready. But she probably never will be. He'll probably stay there with Hurley. I'm sure he'll find a way to get Desmond home.
So Desmond, Kate, Sawyer, Miles, Frank, and Richard. That's it. When the series ends, they're Rose and Bernard. <laughs> when the series ends, they're the only ones left alive. And Walt. Walt's alive too. John died to open up the season. He's been dead a long time. What was initially weird to me is how early they killed in, in the second part. And I only say second part because I, I split this finale in half time-wise. And I just like considered that a part one and part two. Not too soon after the middle, maybe like under an hour into it, Shadow is gone. And there was still so much time left. And I'm like, what the hell? So there's got to be other uh, issues that arise. And of course, fixing all this, saving the island. Of course, that would be the main thing. He's trying to save the light that's in every man. Of course, I can do it. You kidding me, man? How the fuck is you not be on this island and hear this? Go through the things you went through. I get it, Ben. I get it. I get it. Now I can make lists. Ho! Oh, the final. Shoot. All right, I'll save it for the end. I'm, I'm going to write it down so I don't forget. Beautiful. I've used to describe many episodes and arcs and characters' performances. This is what I mean by beautiful. The way this series ended. The way this finale was. Intense. So many intense moments. Coupled. That's what it did. It it was exponential. They put them on top of each other. And it, when it's like that, it's like watching a bunch of funny videos in a row. You're eventually going to crack a laugh. If you, if you think they're funny, you know. And, and with this truly heartbreaking stuff to me. Or heartwarming. And heartbreaking. Sprinkled in there. Back to back to back to back. Like, that's why I was on. A, like, I didn't know how to feel. I was just. I'm trying to think of, like, the show. And all I keep going back to is that fucking submarine. Saeed running off and. Jin and Sun dying. That's all I can think of. But it's not in a bad way because the last time we see everyone, he's with Shannon there together, happy. Well, the reason why I was so hard on Claire, especially towards the end of like the final season, I sort of thought like after a few episodes after all that, in the middle of all, I can't remember the exact episode, but I was thinking, did she die and Shadow brought her back? Like, did she blow up when Sawyer found her body? under all that shit, because the black smoke was attacking everyone. So that's what I'm thinking, holy shit, same thing happened to her, it happened to Saeed. But then Saeed ran off with the bomb in the sub, and it's like, okay, fuck that. We need to bring Claire back. But then she keeps walking out with a gun and shit, aimed at people, it's like, ah! Kate holding her hand as they fly back. And Claire, did I say Claire when I mentioned everyone that survived? E either way, y'all know, y'all know. So many people died. We didn't see Mike. Damn, Claire and Kate. It's just everyone has their moments on the show. I mean, look at the people that, like, look at John and Jack. There are moments in the show where they piss me off. <laughs> Sawyer, too, when he was denying his feelings. It was just, and, and his character just to start out the show. It was like, bro, you, you, you're trying to get people to hate you. Ben was entertaining, though. That's what the thing was. It wasn't more like, man, is he good? He's right. It was like, oh, man, this dude is, he's always got a, a trick up his sleeve. He's the smartest guy in the room. He has the most information, I should say, than ever, and than anyone else in the room. Sacrifices, though, that's, that's, there's things that you can pluck from here and there from the show, but sacrifices, forgiveness, letting go. And that's what makes watching this and talk about this after bawling my eyes out for I don't even know how long. The things that you learn from the show, especially early on, you know, they talked about faith and dead is dead. What happened to happen. Everything happens for a reason. That stuff was in early on in the show and it all came full circle at the end. They even added time traveling elements and a guy that, that could survive electromagnetic radiation. All this other stuff and the Dharma initiative and all the secret stuff was just entertainment factors. But the core of the story, it wasn't even the island or the light. The core of the story were the people. The people, man. That's what it's always going to be about. Surprising no one from the show just went into movies and started doing really high profile stuff besides Evangeline Lilly. I really didn't see her in anything before Ant-Man and Wasp, but now that she's in that, you know. And Jin. I see Jin in a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff. He's a supporting character. Even in something new that just came out, he's in it. I think he's with John Cena or, or Jackie Chan or something. Charlie, of course, and, and Mr. Echo and Anna Lucia, but they, they're, they left the show a lot earlier. Maybe they felt like doing all this. And you guys told me Michael Emerson did do TV after this. Maybe a lot of them felt fulfilled just doing this or I see Saeed and some stuff too here and there. And now I think about it. You guys were like, avoid the spoilers, avoid the spoilers. Nothing got spoiled for me. No, not one thing I can think of got spoiled for me watching the show. You guys may have seen stuff in the comments like on YouTube or Patreon. Like I said, I have moderators. I don't see it. I don't see it. It all gets hidden. My mod uh, was here during like the first two weeks 
of me starting lost i trust him <laughs> and now that i've completed the series hopefully he stays on for other stuff but yes uh let's get back to the episode the church and them ending in a church makes sense it's it's all about belief and they had the different religions on the back that's really what it comes down to on top of it being about people you can't be in places with other people and not have faith in them and believe in them and, and believe in each other and believe in yourselves and believe you can get out of the bad situations that you guys get put in and believe in people that are trying to help and believe that even though there's going to be bad people not all people are bad stuff like that it branches off and then you get into religion like john and, and jack especially our leads and, and like believing in jacob and just taking his word for it and, and trusting people like ethan like i don't believe you now and, and believing ben when we first saw him you know i mean like literal belief and all words can be branched out into a whole bunch of different meanings not just context and situations that people are put in and, and what you're willing to forgive and talk about dynamic of jen and son even through time we're gonna find a way we had a baby F the baby i need you <laughs> i know they love their child and they would want to raise her but she's in good hands she's gonna be rich they know the people here someone's gonna get off the island they're gonna make sure our daughter's taken care of he was not leaving son so, and i wrote down damn it i said oh these are the rules jen can't die in water jen does not die in water write it down he drowned jinxed myself on that one and him my fault my fault jen see and i wrote down greatest death all time with the question mark for jack he was lying in the light as it was going off and he was smiling as it came down and he saved everything he knows he did it that was a lot that was really intense for me thinking back i usually don't remember what specifically i was doing at what moments but i know i was falling apart at that part Oof. and then when they showed him outside i knew not to trust it that's why i didn't say anything i was like yes no because i was like no this motherfucker could still die and he was holding his side when he first got up when he was at the top of the cave in quotations next to greatest death all time question mark that put slash would have been because whether he does die or not he didn't die right there so that can't be greatest death all time he didn't die in the light but then look how it ended he died as the plane flew you can see the distortion in his vision. He did it. They got off and he saved the island. So the island brought him to the top so he could see what he did. God, man. Such... But now I'm thinking it, it might it might be. As far as what the character did and, and how, what was happening in the alternate timeline. I didn't think they were in like another zone that they created before they fully move on. I wouldn't say it's purgatory. That, I, I think that's something different. Where they were at was something else. Like I said, purgatory, I don't think pertains to all religions. So they wouldn't use that type of word. Because what's happening here isn't tied into any, like, I don't think, <laughs> of, of the major religions. It's kind of its own magic. And I, I know people could watch this show and it would really help them get over issues that they have in their life. And that those are the shows that mean a lot to people. It's, it's therapy. It's healing. And I got that from this. Great characters. Great actors, actresses. Oh, yeah, I can look at the title cover now. I can never look at the, even on Hulu, just when you click on the episode homepage on hulu it shows like the whole cast that's up there and it's people that weren't introduced yet someone told me that they're like hey if you're gonna watch on just try not to and i didn't i didn't pay attention to any other people i can the only person i really saw was hugo because he's kind of big um but no one i can't see their faces it's too small well now i can get to the bonus content it's all gonna be up on twitch i'm gonna be doing it live on twitch so i can talk with people and just react to stuff and read the chat and we can converse about the show and you guys can tell me this this and this what i had wrong and this person's name i wasn't saying right or whatever something like that uh, even if it's like a slight mispronunciation of the name let me know you know i don't take anything personal or, or to head i can feel the real sentiment and care from you guys through this internet connection and that there's a lot to be said about that let alone this show this has been one of the best things ever watching one of the watching this show clearly one of the greatest shows ever made clearly one of the greatest things ever made i feel privileged to watch it with people a whole community of people behind me not even watching it with me as i watch it as i experience it as i take it in for the first time now you're like me <laughs> y'all gave me the water from the river creek and i drunk it thank you but yeah we will get into the rewatch the plan for that is starting in september i know people probably want me to jump right into it but i'm gonna do like as much lost bonus content as i can as much and then i just feel like it's gonna be better if i step away just from this you know this was a lot to take in the show especially with the lost bonus content i'm gonna watch it's gonna be awesome more than enough to hold us off and i know a lot of you guys are gonna be here for the rewatch i just forgot to tell you ahead of time though it could start up right away who knows who knows but the plan is to do it september 1st the latest i mean we're not done with loss it's just 
the first cycle is complete now i'm like an other like i lived through one of the main time i'm like eloise and i know what's gonna happen coming up but it doesn't make any of it any easier i hope so it probably won't if some shit gets to me it's gonna get to me every time i watch it the fact that julia and sawyer were the ones that clicked with each other though oh man how beautiful was that i think they said suliet was the ship name whatever that you call it i'm all behind juliet and sawyer yes jack and kate juliet sawyer rose and bernard charlotte faraday charlie and claire Did i say jen and son i mean that's obvious what makes me feel good is that knowing there's lost bonus content and that like when i do watch it again there's gonna be so many people here ready and waiting for it okay but final list let me make i have it circled i'm like what the hell does final list mean final list mike favorite characters I feel like you guys should give me the list though all right what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna save the list because i need like ideas for like bigger lists and it could be part of the big you know loss bonus content huge mega loss bonus episode with the bonus content and that way i can speak directly to you guys and you can and i can make the list live in front of you guys but i can do favorite characters honorable mention i'm just get out the way before i even make the list richard he, i know he's not gonna be in the top five but the dude held it together as long as he could more than anyone he had more crazy interactions he was dealing with the wild and craziness of of all this bullshit we saw how he got on the island he was just a regular person like the rest of us not raised by some mystical woman who lied and at a young age no he was a grown man and his wife's emotions were being used and levied against him and he decided to side with jacob off the rip even though he was sent there to hurt him and he made the right choice no man fuck that richard honorable mention and he made it off the island and he's gonna get to live his life all right but let me get to the list wow i just wrote down number one and like i'm surprised i wrote that that was not what i thought i've never thought this person was number one the entire time i watched the series and me writing it down yeah oh my god and that's how the show ended with hurley number one and ben number two <laughs> that's how it ended well that's my number one and two y'all shit yeah hurley and ben wow hurley is my favorite character on this so lovable could talk to dead people as innocent as he could be tried to do the right thing like the islands in his hands and ben just i gotta give credit to 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 the actor too man that's ben's number two because he, like he steals every scene he's in if he's around and he's in the background and then he says like stuff will go by then he'll say one thing and then all the attention will be on him and the reason why he does that you forget he's in there because he's really absorbing and planning and, and strategizing at all times i know he is i like smart characters and the way Ben was introduced, and the fact I couldn't tell who he was, I couldn't tell if he was bad or good. Damn, you gotta respect it. Number three, Juliet. <laughs> I got her higher up than Jack. All right, because as much as I gave Richard the honorable mention, you know, she I felt like was put in the same place and did it even better to the point where they saw her as one of them. They never saw that with Richard, even though they didn't see him as a threat anymore or anything like that. They like we welcomed Juliet. Like you. You want to get off the side like you had the same plight as us you were put in this bad situation okay you were lied to got you she won me over the character won me over i tried so hard not to like her too <laughs> when the series started or uh, when she was first introduced i tried so hard because she was an other for no other reason other than she was an other light him up all that shit. i'm supposed to trust you and the fact that she lived the perfect life with sawyer wow and he was holding her in his arms and Damn, that was another beautiful relationship in this. Like, I think of them and I just think of them kissing in the kitchen with her holding the flower that he gave her around his back. It's another image that just burned into my head from the show when you talk about S Sawyer and Julia as a couple. But a lot of reasons. It, she had his back and she can shoot a gun. You know, she was, she had, <laughs> she stayed with him on the island. The dude was going to shoot him when they were pressing the people that started the whole Dharmaville situation where he had to talk things down with Richard when they found him in the field and the, the people were having a picnic she helped she saved Sawyer he probably I think he was about to get shot and when they were on the boat and when Ki, Kimi was near the plane I think they were fighting and Juliet I don't know it's just a whole bunch of stuff man love Juliet I love Juliet I love you too Kate but I'm team Juliet all day not that there's a team when it comes to them two like I was only on, it was only like that because it was a whole will they won't they quartet it was, it was a love square not a triangle but everyone ended up Jack and Kate. And I said that early on too. It's Jack and Kate. Then I was like, Jack and Sawyer. I really wasn't sure. They did a good job at that. Because it's really never about, oh, you're supposed to be with this person. It's what time you spend with this person is what it is. If it's magic and they feel like they're the one, then they are the one. Love Juliet. Love her, love her, love her. Wow. Two of my top three favorite characters are others. Isn't that crazy? Number four, John. The dude. The only reason he's so low on my list is because he was kind of 
like he, he did what he was supposed to do. He was supposed to die. Like that, that's what he was supposed to do. But it just took him out of the show and his death set all this stuff up. None of this works without him dying and coming back to the island. But he wasn't the John that we know and love the whole series. <laughs> Especially with, with when he was button heads with Mr. Echo. There was some times and points with John where it was like, bro, it just seems like you're doing too much. It's just as soon as he landed, he was in tune with what the, what the island was giving out. Like they, he, was, he was picking up what the island was throwing down <laughs> right away. I give him credit for that. But it just seems like he was on a different wavelength than everyone else. Juliet and Ben and Hurley weren't considered like oh, oh yeah hugo's name was on the wall it was on the wall but i didn't consider him a serious guy and i said too when someone says i'm just glad it's not me that's a dead giveaway it shouldn't be them and it was him like it just seemed like he was meant to be the guy all along and it wasn't he just had to serve his purpose and he served his purpose excellent like he made the ultimate sacrifice he died and he forgave the guy that killed him but as the series ended you could tell he was just a part of it like i said it's all parts and pieces of all this it's not really like hurley is number one over but it's like they're it's like a pie and these five have, to have the biggest slice of the pie please think of it this way don't think and then get like mad because i don't have like jack or who's another popular character people probably expected me to put or desmond like i know y'all gonna say mike desmond number one bro i desmond and john aren't that high up because they it, it's just like they, they were tapping something mystical like they, I don't know. They were operating, like they weren't human. That's, it's almost like that. It's almost like they weren't human. Like they had a, a, a buff to help them with their stuff. And Juliet didn't, Hurley didn't. Actually, it's not true. Hurley can see dead people. That is a buff. But his sweet temperament nature and just being scared and all that, it's weighted out. It doesn't matter. Now I picked him number one too. So I'm picking him number one. And you can't tell me that wasn't a good pick. But that's why I feel like Desmond and John were believers the whole, like, and then the episode ended with Hurley being the guy too. <laughs> open out desmond i don't know it's just hard to explain it's, it just seems like desmond and john are operating in the, in the same plane as like jacob and jack not even jack sort of it took him the longest than everyone else and even like i said look how big of a character jack was and his whole point of being the one was just to go down there and put the thing back in it wasn't to to take protect the island from here on out it was to do that it's crazy man like i said everyone's a piece everyone has a part of the pie everyone because like if i were to do six through ten saeed's there jack's there oh no wait who's number five i didn't pick a number five Ooh. Okay, then Desmond's going to number five. <laughs> Sorry, then Des Desmond's got to go there. Hold on, wait, wait, wait. Okay, yeah, okay, so Desmond's number five then. All right, you made the list. Jack, Saeed, like I said, as much as I love them, I love the characters. Faraday, I love them. They would round out the top 10 for sure, but it's about, it's like a pie thing. And I just think about moments on the show and how people won me over and I, I see from their point of view and, and it's just a combination of good acting, their character being written well, their, their character being put in... The situations they were early did that bird just say my name yes it did because this is your island yeah but yeah desmond number five for i mean it's pretty obvious if john's number four he has to be number five being able to do the things he can and saving people coming back and you know what it is desmond and john were always considered special and the other ones weren't that's the word special they were special okay and these three other people i fucking love them and they weren't considered special. But then it'd be Jack, number six, Saeed, probably number seven. Like I'm saying, I'm not thinking too much about it. Faraday, number eight. There might be other people that I'm not thinking about. Like, I don't think Kate's in my top 10, but just that's my favorite characters list. I was going to do an emotional, I wrote it down, emotional weight, meaning like the characters really made me feel. Kate was going to be like number two on that. When she does a, a scene where it's relaying emotion and, and her hurt and pain, I feel it. Evangeline Lilly does a good job at that. I feel so bad for her. It's like, it's almost like it's your daughter and it's like stop acting bad and then she's crying and it's like oh those tears and they were genuine kate's not the type of person to fake tears like she's gonna fake other types of things and or maybe sympathy but she's not gonna fake cry that's just not in her character so what she did it was real like i said don't be mad at my list please don't this is just favorite characters there's other lists that are gonna come for y'all to be mad at all right the couples list who would be number one on my couples list let me just think of that oh my god this this is going on way too long no 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 we're saving it we're saving it we're saving the list but look lost is over give y'all some rounds of applause y'all y'all went through this journey with me y'all pushed me to get to this point like now i have a, another story Imagine not watching this for like eight years, nine years, and, and not really remembering stuff. How could I not remember? It will probably hurt though. Yeah, it's not gonna be that long before I rewatch this. The time I've had with you all has been legendary, extraordinary. This is gonna be up on YouTube forever. It's never getting taken down unless someone else takes it down, but they gave me permission. It's in writing, baby. It's not going anywhere. None of these lost reactions. I hope people that continuously over time discover loss and look for people's reactions, especially just, even if it's just to this final episode, go ahead. You fast forwarded, came to this, you listened to me talk for almost, what was it, a half an hour, 40 minutes? It's a special moment. 
special show, special people. I know a lot of you are gonna come back when I do the rewatch, but we got a bunch of lost bonus content and all that for me to get through. But to the people that just wanted to see this one reaction and probably aren't gonna be back on the channel again, you know, cause it's just, this is the show for them and I get it. Trust me, I'm not taking anything. I get it, I get it. There's certain shows that just do it for you like this. Um, hopefully you'll come back just to see my reaction to a certain episode and relive it. The moments that I captured. And if not, see you in another lifetime, brother.